Hola, como estas? Yo soy Dalton, aka you see a Jaguar, aka Loco Jaguar. And I am out here living my best life in Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico. So it was pretty funny guys because I don't usually make a video touching on this kind of thing, but I found something so hilarious that I absolutely had to share it. You know, we all know about the Jaguars hunt videos and you know, last year I was super into them, man. Like I would basically see them come out and then I would basically do like a, re a live reaction to a type of thing because I was super hyped. But this year it's just, it seems a little bit redundant because I'm hearing kind of the same exact stuff as last year. Not that this year's gonna go bad or anything, but it's just like I bought in, I like, I bought in 150% last year and this year I'm just like, all right, let me kind of see it on the field before anything happens. But I will say, it's an awesome production that they do. It's it's a really awesome production, man. Like they really do go inside the locker room and everything. I mean, they follow them around. You know, you get kind of access that you would not really get anywhere else. Um, and it's funny because the hunt seems to like accidentally drop some like bangers, man. Some some moments that they capture where it's like, you know what? They probably should have like miss that part you know what i mean and i'm gonna try to get past this music because music usually ruins these youtube videos but there was this like last year for example the jaguars did a hunt video and in the hunt video it like basically leaked out the jaguars like draft board like essentially like not all of it but a few different rankings that they had and i remember one thing that had what it was it had like jalen waddle basically with the same letter grade as Trevor Lawrence. And it had like basically Zach Wilson not ranked very high on their list. So it was kind of funny, a few of the things that they um, kind of brought on. Um, and then this year they go to the combine. So the video that dropped yesterday, they were at the combine. And this is what Shad Khan said. Yeah, but what can you tell a deer that you can't tell on a tape? Which, <laughs> that part, I, I rewound it and I was like, did he just say that? And you know, a lot of people say like, oh, it's a it's a legit question. And yeah, it is a legit question. You know, sometimes people on the channel they ask me, hey, you know, what is the point of the combine? It's like, and what do you what do you get from a combine that you wouldn't get on the film? And that's 100 percent true. Because like combine isn't everything. Combine is like what, 10%, maybe 15%. Most of the combine is just getting the medicals in and actually being able to talk to the players. But yeah, so that happened and like Shad Khan asked that question and it's just, the thing is, you don't ask that question after 10 years of ownership. He's been the owner of the Jaguars for 10 years and this is, is this the first time he's ever asked that question? And from what I get from it is look, credit to Shad Khan because look, he is trying to get more actively involved. Like he is trying to get you know, he is a lot more around the Jaguars building and organization and, and cued in a lot of the different stuff going on. And I think that's what a lot of us wanted. We did not want an absentee owner. So, but what I got from it is that that was his very first combine he's ever been to. And what was funny is he was sitting there at the combine. Like, it's like, I'll, I'll replay it again. I'll replay it again. Yeah, but what can you tell a deer that you can't tell on a tape? It's almost as if he's like, why the hell are we here, guys? Like, this is such an inconvenience to me. Like, I could be anywhere. Like, what am I going to get from this place that I would not get from watching the tape? So, I don't know. That, it was just absolutely hilarious. It probably wasn't video worthy, but I know I saw it. I laughed. A bunch of people from Twitter laughed. Um, and I know a lot of us look like, you know, we give Shad Khan a lot of heat. You know, some of it, I mean, a lot of it's rightfully so, man, because he has been terrible as when it comes to one, the only thing that matters in the NFL, that's wins and losses. He's been terrible, just absolutely terrible. Um, but, you know, he's, I mean, but he does some things right, man. I mean, he, uh, you know, he basically stabilized the team at Jacksonville. You know, the big reason why they're staying in Jacksonville is because of him. Um, you know, a lot of owners were to take the team and shift it out somewhere. Um, you know, he invests in a city, which I don't know, like a lot of it's like, you know, I used to give him a lot of credit for it, but really like, you know, when you buy a piece of real estate, a fixer upper, you have to put money in to get money back out. 
and the amount of money that he's returned for the Jaguars greatly exceeds the amount of money that he's put in. So, I mean, I guess there's that. And um, But the main thing, I mean, he spends money in free agency, man. Like he, you know, like there's some owners that are pretty cheap. They don't want to go out there and buy a bunch of free agents. And, you know, he does these things where he gets them a lot of, you know, guaranteed money, which kind of relieves out the cap. So, you know, there's certain good aspects about him. But I think a lot of us are pretty excited for Tony Khan to take over eventually because at some point he's going to take over his owner and then you know just listening to Tony Khan talk it's just a lot more I mean he's just I mean first of all which this part this part probably isn't isn't really fair at all but you know you can tell he kind of grew up in the United States he's just a much better speaker you know sometimes listen to Shah Khan talk it's a mixture of like not knowing anything about football and his English just being not all that great so you don't really get anything out of him and Tony Khan I mean when I hear like I've heard him on 10th and Excel I've heard him on several different podcasts I mean he is good at what he does and he is a big person like when it comes to getting free agents like he's a big undrafted free agent guy he he was responsible for Alan Hearns like James Robinson you know some of these seventh round gyms that they're not seventh round but like late round undrafted gyms that we've had and that's had success so you know that's Keelan Cole that's another one so you know, that, that's just some things about him, but it was just funny. I mean, The Hunt, it's a great production. I don't, people ask why I don't do live reactions to it. It's just because I last year I was so bought in, I was so hyped for it, but this year, like, to get me hype, man, I've got to, you know, I've got to start seeing results, man. What's going to get me hype is touchdowns, is, is, is creating turnovers, is, and at the end of the day, getting those Ws, man. I want wins. I want playoff berths. I want all that, man. Eventually, I want to hoist that Lombardi trophy. So yeah, those are some of my thoughts, man. Uh, let me know, let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you guys are excited for the draft. Obviously, it's what 13 days away now, so it's coming up quick. But yeah, with all that said, we are out here in Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico. This is uh, where my fiance is from, so we're staying at her parents' place over here. Um, Easter weekend, so I hope you guys all have a good Easter weekend. Uh, yo Bebo Mucho Cervezas Este fin de semana So it's good It's all good Alright guys Thanks so much for watching Go Jags